Should I add the thingies on top of it? The tree branches? Okay, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add the... Uh, the branch. If I don't like it, I'll lose it. And you can tell me whether you prefer it with or without. But I think we're pretty much done. Alright. Um, put this behind the bottle. I'm gonna call that branch. Um, cheers! Learn how to spell, young fella. Well, why am I shading before I even? There we go. Actually, yeah, I'll keep it. it looks, it looks original. But then just a bottle sitting there. Besides, Bob Ross likes to draw. Uh, happy little trees so it actually makes sense yes indeed okay. and branches kind of get smaller the further away they get from a stem uh, so whenever you're out on the road and one thing I know I like to do is whenever I'm driving somewhere I just stare at the clouds and I'm, I study what they look like, right? I do the same for trees. Just study what they look like. It starts to get thinner towards the edges. And it looks something like that. Uh, should I change brush? Nah, keep the same one. Just make this easy. Alright, so select a nice green. Oh. Okay, oh, guides, why are you showing yourselves? I never asked you to show up to the party. Nah, I don't like that green. Too green. Wait, maybe, am I? I knew I was using the wrong brush. Yeah, that's the brush I want. Now, when it comes to brushes, you, you can um, search online for uh, different kind of brushes that that exist and uh, you can use you can pretty much use anything because there's brushes for like leaves there's brushes for grass there's brushes for clouds smoke dust particles I mean it is non it is endless um, but for this purpose I'm just using one kind of brush so that way I'm not uh, I'm not trying to kill myself to think okay what should I use here of course there are times when I do that, when I'm really, when, I, when I'm creating something that's very, very detailed and I'm going to spend 20, 30 hours on it, then, then that's when I actually um, use different brushes for different things, right? Because some brushes are good for skin, some brushes are good for, um, you know, uh, different surfaces. Okay. Uh, once I have a base for what the grass would look, uh, grass, the tree will look like. I start shading underneath it, right? Because uh, underneath it, there's less light uh, hitting it. Because remember the push and pull thing we talked about earlier. I'm gonna bring that back. Add some dark shades underneath, and um, use yellow and light greens towards the top where the light is actually hitting the leaves. Oh boy, this one's looking really good. Nah, that's, that's like orange. Okay, here we go. Happy little trees. I'm actually gonna be creating a lot of artwork just using this one brush. So, might as well call it the Tombow brush. Okay. Okay, I think I, I like that. Um, the next thing I'll do is actually start shading in 
some darker edges for them. Darker and lighter edges of the branch. I like that. Happy little do, I'm coming for you. Okay, um, I like the way that's looking. <clears throat> I think the, what I think. Final step would be to shade, to actually add some shadows on the ground where the stuff is sitting. Choose a nice, mm, let's see, dark brown. Man, we've had a lot of browns today. What could brown do for you? Nice, okay, I like that. Then on this side as well. So that way the, the shadow is darker towards um, where it's in, in closer to the object that the light is being um, cast upon. This needs to be even darker so that it stands out. So the edges of the hut stand out more. Because the hut is bigger, so yeah, like that. That as well. Then just some scatter shadows to where the trees would, the leaves would be blocking light. Make this slightly bigger. Actually, I need to raise this side. I don't like it. I don't like you. Okay, I think. I think what I probably should do is this green. Let me add that the shade of green up here because it's a bit too light. Yeah, that works. That absolutely works. And um, final step, I will earn some little birds. Some little birds in the sky little birds make that in pixels they're always flying a pattern so I'll make a pattern come on little birdie where are you going? Okay, there you go, there you have it. That's how you create a um, post. Then I'm gonna do a time lapse and then add the sound that's already trending on Twitter. Leverage that, jump on the trend, and um, see you when I'm at one million. <laughs> go ahead, hit the subscribe button, notification bell to make sure you know that I've added a new video and I'll be creating more content like this. So with that said, have a great time. Peace out. Today we're painting some happy little Mountain Dew bottles. 
we'll paint a little dew here, one right next to it. Like I always say, everyone needs a friend. A little dew here, one there.